Hello and welcome back to Vintage Story. This has felt like, I don't know, like a really just the, the worst journey ever in a way um, is this two projects, bees and the greenhouse. The greenhouse has just taken forever. It's taken so long. It's, it's taken almost as long as the house has because in a way it is just another very large house. Um, I mean, it's not taking as long as, say, like automation or windmill, but, you know, it's still taking a long time. So bees in the greenhouse and, you know, the the bees are doing well. They're populating their the other skeps are, are getting populated. They're splitting. Um, they haven't made any honey yet, but that's, you know, that's not going to be for a long time. It should it almost takes like maybe a whole season. I mean, that might be wrong, but um, it, you know, it, it takes them a long time to, to fill a honey. I remember learning, was it one bee um, makes a, about as much honey as can fill a teaspoon in their entire lives. So, you know, when you think about how many bees there are, well, certainly they are all making a lot of honey collectively, but only the one bee can make a teaspoon's worth of honey. Um, I got berry bushes going. Uh, we, uh, I've dedicated two of the two sections of the greenhouse specifically for berry bushes because we are going to need a lot of berries, um, mostly for animal husbandry and uh, you know feeding the the various wildlife, but uh, also ourselves as well. Um, we'll probably be juicing a lot of the berries and then using the berry mash to feed um, you know chickens and and whatever. I tried to tame a chicken there. You can you see me like maybe getting the ball rolling. Um, that, that didn't work out at all. So I think you've got to kind of capture animals the old-fashioned way uh, before you can start taming them. I did uh, I did get killed by a wolf though. So what does that make it like 30? 30 times I've died to a wolf. Let's just call it 30. And we, I could be less or more. Um, so this is uh, me like starting the ball rolling on animal husbandry, if you can believe it. I know I've been talking a lot about it and not really doing much about it, but I wanted to make a little trap. Um, so you gotta set up a couple of trows and uh, throw some some wheat or whatever you wanna call them, some kind of grain in, in all of those trows, and then uh, basically make a little pit for things to get trapped in. Uh, that's intended mostly for chickens. I really am gonna need chickens first in a way because they're um, one of the easier animals to take care of and one of the least taxing on my resources. And they are also one of the most beneficial. They're gonna give us eggs, obviously, but also feathers. Uh, and feathers we're gonna need a lot of if I want to continue using my bow. And I don't really wanna kill any more chickens for the sake of our bow, unless you know we're, we have a surplus. Here's a much needed thing. Uh, I just wanted to write down the ratio of our copper to tin so that I don't have to remember in the future for making um, 800 units. 800 units is my go-to for um, you know smelting down our resources, so that, that works out well. Also made some more arrowheads. Honestly, kind of a waste of time because we don't have any feathers, so uh, it was maybe maybe a bit premature. But you know, this was mostly just a, a session intended to check a couple of boxes. Didn't really have any plans going in. So I just kind of worked on bees and I really just wanted to finish the greenhouse because it's been pending for way too long. Got a couple things done around the house, including uh, we're, we're still tanning our uh, our leather. I haven't really done anything with the leather yet, so I'm just kind of treating it like a chore I come back to every couple of days. and uh, Or I'm still put, throwing down some roads. But uh, you can see the bees. These are the two I put down initially, uh, populated skips. And then you can see that the low population or the population zero they're like low population skips. Those are new. So those are newly populated. So things are going well. And I'm trying, you want to you wanna surround those bees um, with as many flowers as possible. The more flowers there are, the more uh, quickly they will split and populate other skeps and then eventually make honey. And we'll have a lot of honey instead of, you know, just a little bit. I, and I'm pretty sure they're okay during the winter time as well. I could be wrong about that. It was actually a very good session for getting fat. Um, I, I got not just one or two, but like three or four chunks of fat. So uh, that's definitely going to help towards automation. That's a, uh, it's just a pending thing. It's, it's one of those things. It's, if I see any animals that are like far enough away from the base that they're kind of unreachable in terms of like animal husbandry, then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and kill them and uh, hopefully you'll you'll forgive me for that. Sorry, um, we're, <laughs> we're gonna be killing a few animals for that. 
But uh, now that I had, I, you know, I was, I was feeling pretty confident about bees, I was, I was really happy. I'd gotten, gotten them set up, and and things were going well. I decided to be ambitious, like I am about all of my projects, and uh, throw down as many bee skips as I could possibly afford, and maybe even go out and get some more cattails so I could afford some more skips. So, uh, hence the, the simp simply armada of, of beehives. I also decided to be a bit more ambitious about my cooking and instead of just making a meat stew, I made a meat and vegetable stew since we're starting to actually get a surplus of vegetables. I'm feeling pretty good about things so far. Um, like, you know, we're, we're just in spring and uh, I'm already starting to collect a, a mass or a backlog of food and resources. So uh, next winter should be a lot more forgiving in terms of having to, you know, keep things in check and, and not starve. I'm enjoying these roads, not just because they make me actually travel faster, but because they make the place feel a little bit more civilized and a little bit more, I don't know, uh, lived in. You know, that's kind of been the theme of this entire series is I, I like to make things look lived in. And at some point I am just going to do a session once I am pretty comfortable about our food situation, maybe when I have automation set up. And I'm just gonna like sit down and start to decorate the place because it is starting, it's it's not feeling as good as I'd like it to be. Um, just like a whole session of decorating, that'd be kind of fun. Decided finally to, um, you know, buckle down and, and actually mine some lead. I did find a, a very large vein, but it required um, seeking out a little bit. So hence why I had to go in and do pull out our old prospector's pickaxe and try and find it. But we did find a bunch of lead and that will be used for making leaded window panes for the future. So we can we can finally make the house look a little bit more pleasant and, and not nearly so um, dreary and closed in. It'll be at least during the day it'll look nice. So here is our greenhouse finally kind of putting the last touches and completing the last um, glass roof before putting on the uh, roofed corners and sides. And I'm, I'm not sure I'm super happy about the look of this greenhouse, but I am pretty happy about um, its functionally ambitious kind of uh, stake in the world. It, it's going to serve me well um, and, and provide me with lots of food, both for myself and for whatever animals I, I hope to tame in the coming months. We are we are in it for the long haul on Vintage Story. This has been a pretty pretty big long series. I have like honestly never expected to do this much, but um, I'm I'm enjoying it still. Um, so throw down our last bit of bit of glass, and uh, that'll be the greenhouse officially done. And I'm 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 very excited about that. That's a big that's a big che uh, box checked right there. I love to include some of my mistakes because sometimes they just really irk me and I make them very consistently. It's just just great to <laughs> make the same stupid mistake like three or four times in a row. Um, but also placing uh, like one directional kind of blocks and then you know, is, is very easy to mess up and also very <laughs> frustrating. Um, I did, I am collecting more stone and I don't necessarily need more stone for projects so more and more of it is ending up as road instead of um, just kind of being funneled into my latest project. Every project seems to need a lot of stone, so um, more roads are in need. The bee project is pretty much, I don't know if I want more than this in terms of bees. I, f I think uh, any more than this and the pl place is going to start to feel a little bit bee crazy, a little bit overpopulated, a little bit crowded, I think. But uh, I'm pretty happy with as many as much as we have now. And uh, I don't think we need more than that, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments, maybe. Uh, do I need more bees? Now, no, do know I, I'm not putting these flowers down for the skeps that are already placed. No, no, they're they're being placed for the future skeps because um, they're surrounding the empty spots on the field. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, um, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.